this is about uh, the duration of this course about uh, 25 hours at least minimum of 25 hours it may go somewhere around between 25 to 30 hours okay. and depending on the audience interaction so it can go beyond 25 hours also but minimum is uh, 25 hours and we'll talk about uh, uh, introduce uh, different kinds of certifications that are available in Ashut. So lots of certifications there. Microsoft is making a lot of uh, uh, changes um, to especially in the uh, certification area. Last six months, if you have seen it, uh, there's so many changes they have done. Like you know the new certification they have introduced, the the old certificates they have retired them, and uh, so we'll talk about different certification that are available and your uh, understand what is your uh, requirement from uh, you know what kind of certification that you need to uh, go with and uh, and preparation like you know how do I prepare for these certifications and you know I'll, I'll help you I'll do and if certification is one of the reasons for you to take in the, the sector I'll also help you with some uh, uh, mock tests uh, which will definitely work the uh, uh, going through and uh, we will talk about cloud computing concepts if you are new to cloud the cloud computing concept will definitely help you to understand set the um, uh, base uh, right and uh, even if you are not from the cloud background or uh, you know it doesn't matter whether you are from altogether a different uh, background so this definitely uh, a, a foundation for you to understand Azure uh, then we will move on to Azure subscriptions and resources. So the first thing before we get into um, our start or uh, build any service, we need to understand, you know, get the subscription, understand the different kinds of subscription. So as an individual, I may be having only one subscription, but as a company, I may be having uh, multiple subscriptions for different departments, different environments. So uh, let's try to understand what is the subscription, you know, how do you manage these subscriptions in the costs? Tagging, you know, um, you know, spent, how much you are spending, resource utilization, consumption, so all kinds of things that we will understand. And uh, resource groups, managing the resource groups and uh, configure resource group policy, implementing set tagging resource groups and so on. And apart from that, we'll see uh, implementing and managing the storage. So different kinds of storage is available in uh, uh, in Azure. So we'll see the all those different kinds. We have mainly blobs, queues, tables, files. And how do you manage the storage? How do you monitor and how do you implement it? How do you import and export data to Azure? And uh, how do you manage the files using file sync, sync group? And how do you manage the backups, implementing Azure backups? And deploy and manage virtual machines. And uh, different ways we deploy virtual machines, manage the virtual machines. We'll see all the ways. Uh, examples like through portals, through command lines, through PowerShell, through templates, through JSON. So number of ways that we can build our uh, virtual machines, be it Windows or Linux, and monitor them, manage them, and um, adding uh, additional disks, additional interfaces, and uh, using bringing those virtual machines into the desired state configuration, TSC. And how do you redeploy them in case if you are uh, going through some issues? And managing virtual machine backups, configure VM backup, uh, define virtual machine backup policies, and uh, restoring them, and um, configure virtual networks, uh, VM networks, and building a virtual networks in the cloud, and building multiple virtual networks, not just one single virtual network, multiple networks within the region within the same location or multiple different location how do you and also how do you connect them uh, across different locations and how do you set up uh, uh, firewalls security groups and how do you set up dns for your uh, applications or internal applications or external applications uh, connect and uh, manage on premises network which is your company network with azure network so complete network uh, management we'll see that and managing identities managing identities basically we're going to focus on active directory azure active directory which is identity access management we'll see how to set up users groups devices 
and uh, we'll see how to set up uh, AD uh, connecting on-prem network with the uh, Azure network, um, like uh, on-prem Active Directory objects, synchronize them with the uh, Azure Active Directory, setting up uh, multi-factor authentication, and, uh, and finally, real-time use cases. So this is what we are going to see in administration. Let's say you're from, uh, uh, for example, um, development background. So what's that I'm going to look at in the uh, development? So again, uh, you know, no matter which course that you take, um, uh, if you have some knowledge about uh, cloud computing concepts, uh, we can skip it or we can uh, do a refresher kind of session. Uh, and uh, we'll talk about the certification program that is specially for, uh, you know, it's called uh, 203. Azure 203, which is developing solutions for Microsoft Azure. Okay. We'll talk about this particular um, certification pro program. And in general, we also talk about different certification programs that are there. So this is actually divided into um, a infrastructure as a service and platform as a service. So this is for uh, more uh, from the developer's perspective where, you know, how developer can manage the applications in cloud. Uh, 